Hey folks, it's Stacy again from Homestead on the Hill. And I've been back to Princess Auto and I've voiced my complaint about not having a washer on the bolt. And they were apologetic and they made things right. So I'm back with a washer and a piece of key stock so that we can see if we can get the old Bozeman up and running. The Princess Auto band sawmill. So, let me turn this unit around, and we're going to have a look at this thing here. Hang tight. Rolling. I don't, don't have the belt on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, you can see in there, there's the, um, there's a little keyway, a little, a little square slot, and this is the key, and uh, you slide that in. Uh, we've already, we've already cleaned up that, um, sh um, this keyway and uh, just put a little buff on it so that it's not. Uh... And then on here, this goes to the engine. That side goes to the engine, this side faces out. And so right here is the keyway that needs to match up with that. So here we go, let's see if I can do this. And, and you never wanna force things. So, just, my hand is like a little piece of meat, so it's not really, you'd never want to use a steel on this, like a, ha a real uh, hammer. I think that needs to go in a little further, doesn't it? What do you think, Brian? No, that's it. That's it. She's on there, and all you have to do now is put the uh, bolt and washer on. Okay, so... So the guys at um, Princess Auto gave were kind enough to give me two washers. One's got a bigger diameter hole in the center, but this is the one. And so we figure what we'll do is we'll use both. And then and then the bolt goes in there. Where's the bolt? Where'd we leave the bolt? Okay. I've got two nuts, but no bolt. I mean, two washers. Sorry, these are washers. I, I do have two nuts as well, though. Okay, we gotta we gotta hold on a sec. We gotta find out where did we leave that bolt that to goes through the center, so it go like that, and then the bolt goes through there, and it holds the shaft holds this um, on the shaft so that it doesn't shoot out again. Okay, hang tight. Let's find out where that find out where where did I set that bolt? Drop on the end of it. Where do you, what do you bring? Yeah, actually, you? just just put some on, on the thread? on the threads. That's all. Like how much? Like 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 that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, this is um, it's uh, it's like um, what are they? What's the brand name? Loctite. Loctite. So this is thread locker. I'm like Fred Walker. Um, thread locker makes it so that this will stay in here. So after momentary, oh my God, where's the where's the bolt? I remembered I'd put it in the um, the vendor where I have the manual. The I have it in a in a little loose leaf or a little folder. Anyway, so we we got it. Now, what we're going to do is that will yep that fits through there. So put that through there. We're going to double up the washers. You know why? Because we can. Hopefully, okay. So then I put it back in the uh, the shaft. And then my practice, where my grandfather taught me this, you always hand tighten it first. Let's see, see lots of young punks just put the impact driver on it and go to town on it. Well, if you've got it cross-threaded, when you're good, you don't worry about that kind of stuff, but I'm not good at that. Anyway, so then you put the wrench on it, tighten her up, and let's see, I could hold that. With that, uh, go to your whatever torque they recommend. There we go. Yeah, because you'll be able to flex the uh, washers with that. Yeah. Oh, you're turning the motor. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, that's a. Yeah, there you go. I'm turning the motor over. Okay, tick, 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 tick. Oh, you hear the clicking? That's the torquing. There we go. It's on the. I can feel it's on the compression stroke, so I can hold it. There we go. I'll leave it at that. That's it. 
So you can feel it. So when I'm on the engine, so the compression stroke, so the piston's coming up. And so it gives me an opportunity to, to feel it tight. We'll leave it at that. So this is what was missing. These two pieces here, these are the, the washers. And then, so this was in the center. And so the catastrophic failure was that thing just came straight off and left the bolt there. Now we got the washers in place, a little drop of the, the, the thread locker on that uh, so that it um, locks in place. Let's see what it does. So should we see if we can crank it over? Okay, so when we wanted to um, put the belt back on the clutch, we, the belt was way too tight. So what you have to do is you have to move the entire engine over. In order to do that, there is one, two, three, four um, bolts that lock it in place. So you gotta, you gotta loosen those, one, two, three, four. And then in order to move the engine over, you loosen this off, is that correct? Loosen that off. And then the engine can slide forth or back or forth. Right. Am I saying that correct? Is that actually correct? Sure. Yeah. So, like, so once you have these loose, yeah. no, no. then you adjust it by loosening this off and then just go and tap, tap, tap to move it over. Just push it over yeah. with your hand. Right. And then you, and then you tighten this up to a tort tension on it. Am I, are you filming? Oh, <laughs> yeah. um, so then, so like, um, we, like Brian said, you loosen these off and then on both ends and then you loosen this off and then you can just move the engine. And then we wanted it to go that way to loosen the tension. We put the belt on the clutch and then we slid the engine back to the proper tension. Tighten this one up till it's just snug. And then you want to lock the engine back in place. So tighten, tighten, and then tighten these two over here. And then you go back over there, check the belt for the proper tension and Bob's your uncle. We're not going to run it right now because we put the blue, the thread locker on it, the Loctite type stuff, and you need to leave it for at least 20 minutes. And so we're going to um, go get dinner started. And then we may, if um, the gods are willing, we'll come back here and crank this thing over and see if it will actually run. So, here we are.